Got a pen, got some paper, and maybe a smartphone and a few bucks to spare. Cause we're talking about a super secret Instagram trick to land on the Explorer page using Instagram ads. Welcome back, my friends. Uh, my name is Dominic. If you're new here, we're talking about social media ma marketing. We talk about some stuff, you know, that's based around social media, uh, Instagram, YouTube, all of the things uh, that you need to build a personal brand. And a few months ago, Instagram quietly announced, actually probably didn't even announce it, but they quietly came out with a feature that you can place ads on the Explore page. What's going on here? Ugh you can put out ads on the explore page basically what people were dying to get getting into the explore page and basically you can show a post on the explore page without people noticing it's an ad how amazing is that well it turns out you can't use existing posts for that you're gonna have to create an ad that's not featured in your feed uh, so you know all the amazing internet points that you get there um, are not they're just gonna stay invisible and I know the like feature is hidden for America for big parts of the US and this is probably part of why it's been hidden in the US uh, if you want to know a, bit, a little bit more about why I have a video there it sounds great in the first glance it's actually not so great but my friends you're not here for no reason you're not subscribed hopefully to the Instagram police channel because it turns out I found a way to actually put your existing posts on the explore page, making it actually a super amazing growth hack for Instagram that you can use to grow big time on our beloved platform that we all love because there's no problems and they don't restrict reach for anybody. But before we get into the whole ad creation part and exactly how you do it, uh, let me tell you that the ad itself is not the whole piece of the cake because everything around it is actually equally as important, starting from the way that you structure your content, your bio naturally, and you know, the ad itself. All of these things need to be beautifully orchestrated, beautifully aligned to actually show a bigger picture, at least subconsciously, because people are gonna notice that. You know how it's like, you swipe through Instagram, you swipe through, for example, the stories, and every third or fourth story is an ad. So our subconscious minds is actually kind of used to ads right now. That is why you have to have this whole alignment there uh, in order to up your conversion rate by a lot. You need to be careful that you align your whole content strategy and everything to your target audience. So you have to know exactly who you're creating content for. If you have that all aligned uh, together with some ads, for example, ads that we're gonna talk about right now, you're actually on a fast track to Instagram success, which by the way, manifests itself all in your whole strategy. Because if your strategy revolves around that, your target audience, your content and everything together, the algorithm's gonna be your friend, which will result in you growing big time. Like I tried to tell you in the one video, which apparently a lot of you guys just don't wanna understand. Well, I'm gonna make an update on that. You know, if you're new here and watch this video and you're like, you, come on, I'm gonna make an update. I'm gonna make a live, Instagram live in the next week. I'm talking about that. Anyway, so before setting up the ad, make sure once again, your bio, check your bio and uh, try to align it uh, and make it that there's a clear CTA call to action in it. In our case, we wanna uh, have a call to action towards followers, you know, towards people following you in it. So try to put that in there, uh, put your value proposition in there, say, okay, this is my value proposition, follow me if you wanna have more of that. You know, that's basically everything that you can do. What you wanna do then is you wanna check which post actually you wanna put out there as an at, you know, ideally the one that's performing the best, which is why, by the way, you should, first of all, watch my video where I talked about the analytics growth, because if you watch that and if you're a good kid, you already have your growth sheet, spreadsheet filled in there, and you're gonna see, okay, this specific post has done fairly well in terms of followers. I got, let's say, 15 followers through that one post, or 12 followers, or 1,000 followers through that one post. So kinda, it means that it's pre-selected. It means that you wanna take that post and put it on the explore page. By the way, another thing, which I'm not gonna get into right now, uh, is you can just make an ad, ad post where you, for example, post viral, vi repost viral things and put this on the explore page with some strong call to action. And I'm not really a fan of reposting viral content just because it messes up your feed kind of in a way. It's kind of not, a, it, it's not just a good way, but for initial growth and for occasional growth uh, through the explore page. And if you don't want it messing with your feed, you can totally go for that and put this as an ad ad on the explore page. Just a side note for that. If you want me to make a video about that, you know what to do, my friends. There's a comment box, which you should, by the way, all use, you know? Use it. 
Uh, it helps me actually for the algorithm. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is before you ho we hop into the whole Facebook business manager, Facebook ads manager, whatever is it, it's called on your end, first thing we're gonna wanna do is open up Instagram actually here and hit the promote button on one of your posts. And this is an integral part here because if you don't do that, post is not gonna be in there and you can't uh, use that post to show up on the Explorer page. And this is actually the ha hack. So you're gonna wanna promote this thing for whatever. In this case, you just wanna promote it for a short period of time, just $1 or something like that, just so it's in there. Um, it will be in there instantly saying it's gonna be reviewed and go to the post. By the way, I have to blur my Facebook account here at the top because I have no idea why, but Facebook banned me for life. Me personally, <laughs> for using Facebook ads in any sort. Why? I have no idea. I did a repeal set. I didn't even do anything, man. And they said, whatever, you're not allowed. Don't contact us again. Of course, I have some friends. So I have a couple of other uh, Facebook accounts right now. Shh, don't say it. Shh. I just want to be safe. And because you never know with, with, with you internet people out there. Anyway, you go to your post in there and there you see you have that uh, post in the Facebook Business Manager, if you click edit, it's gonna say this ad was uh, created on Instagram and can't be edited here. Open your Instagram app uh, to edit the original. And we're like, first time I saw that and we're like, okay, they don't want us to have the good things, which is actually true, but you can actually circumnavigate this whole thing. So what you wanna do to show it on the Explore page is hit duplicate. You're gonna duplicate the whole ad and there you go. You can already see at the Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. That's actually going to be my, my social media platform. It's just about glam stuff. Anyway, um, you add the Instagram uh, explore page and here's the thing. You have to create a new campaign, you know, otherwise it won't work. Uh, you have you put in, for example, post explore, whatever you want to put in there. Probably you're going to be more sophisticated. Come on, more sophisticated explore. Um, you want to optimize for traffic in that case and uh, hit the duplicate post button. Wait a little, a little, a little bit. And as you can see right here in the post copy, all of a sudden you can do whatever you want with it. You can say, for example, daily budget, uh, five bucks or 10 bucks. Usually start out between five and 10. Anyway, for the audience section, you can target however you want. Basically, there's no, there's no exceptions to that. In our case, for example, we're just gonna do, sometimes you can put in worldwide. For some reason, it doesn't work always worldwide. You can go down to targeting either. You can do like a custom audience, which is super in-depth. I don't wanna confuse you too much, but there's there. This is where the real stuff can happen if you have enough data. For example, lookalikes, people who engage with you, stuff like that. If you want me to create something based along the lines of super in-depth Instagram ads tutorial, you know what to do. Anyway, for this case, we're just gonna go, for example, uh, to detailed targeting down there. Uh, for example, people who like spaghetti. There you go. And spaghetti Western sometimes, and people who like cars, of course. If you don't know what that is, you're no OG. <laughs> anyway, uh, basically get creative with that. The secret to, to these things here is test out as much as you can, okay? Just test out. You know, you can't just leave a, an ad up there and, and just let it run and say, okay, it didn't work. You have to test so much. There's so many variables. That's why you kind of have to have some budget to start with. Let's go down to the placements. And here's the thing. If you put it in the explore page, you also have to put them in the feed. Unfortunately, uh, you can take the stories off. Up your chances of actually showing in the explore page. Um, there you go. Uh, and basically, basically that's it. By the way, two hours later, almost, I tried to fix something. Turns out there's some faults within uh, Facebook. Of course, it's always when I create the videos, when I want to record a video. Anyway, usually these things are filled in. You know, it's your Instagram, it's your Facebook page that's connected with your Instagram page. My Instagram page won't show up because of some reason. Sometimes it happens, happened to me before. So. Hopefully it's gonna get fixed. If not, the video was probably for nothing. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's gonna get fixed. Anyway, just let me show you what I did with a recent post that I successfully put on the Explore page, giving me a bunch of followers. Here, this is how it's supposed to look like. Your Instagram page, your Facebook page that's connected with your Instagram page, your Instagram page that's connected with your Facebook page. <laughs> and there's your post thing. Um, you can 
usually if you duplicate this whole thing, you're, these things are pre-filled already. Just leave that as it is, your website URL to your Instagram thing. You can also, if it works, sometimes it works, do uh, put in magic links, uh, but no, just leave it as it is right now. Um, and um, yeah, basically that's it. As soon as these things are filled in, it works like a charm. It's going to be at the export feed, as you can see, just like that with the visit Instagram profile. And uh, yeah, testing will show which post works well, which post doesn't work as well. If you don't wanna use a existing post like we said, you can always choose a post that uh, you know, that's not there. By the way, some agencies already start testing posts on the Explore page. They start to see, okay, does it perform well or not? And then they choose to post it so they actually know what's up. But well, anyway, so this been it, the tutorial for this week. Let me know how it works for you. Let me know if it works because, you know, Facebook f feels like every other day there's some issue going on. Uh, that being said, no, I love Facebook. Please don't, uh, don't disable my ad accounts anymore.